Hello students, uh, welcome to ACAM IS Academy. Uh, see, because as we all know, June 5th is our prelims examination, 5th of June 2022. In the last couple of days, I have been receiving a lot of messages from the students, who the students who have been in my classroom students asking, sir, what should be our strategy to prepare for this examination as only 40 days are left. So I thought to make a very quick video, maybe around 8 to 10 minutes to help the students to devise a strategy for the preparation for the next 40 days, okay. But before I get into the topic as such, uh, you know, the topic is how to prepare in the next 40 days, I would like to tell you something. See, one thing you need to understand is whatever your strategy might be, but you need to understand one thing that for clearing prelims examination, there are primarily three pillars, three pillars of prelims. And these three pillars constitute three subjects of your polity, your history and your economy. See, if you go by the statistics, in the previous five to six years, what has been observed is the number of questions that are being asked from these three domains, that is polity, history and economy, vary between 17 to 18 questions in each of the streams. It means that to some extent, if I add up the numbers, if I add up the numbers, the numbers would come somewhere close to 55. It means that 55% of the questions are going to be asked from these three subjects. It means that you need to be prepared 100% in all these three subjects. And when I say 100% preparation, it means you should have covered the NCRTs of these subjects. You should have covered the prescribed textbooks of these subjects. You should have revised your class notes and adequate practice in terms of test series should have been ensured in all these three subjects. So this is the mantra of clearing prelims examination, right? With this as a prelude, we'll go ahead with our presentation. I'll try to explain you what all you need to do in the next 40 days. See, one thing why I wrote, try to cover the prescribed textbooks is, I have seen that at this particular moment, students tend to get away from the prescribed textbooks and try to grab some readily available material from the market and revise it again and again. But that is not correct strategy. I suggest at least one reading of all the prescribed textbooks of the three domains which I just spoke, polity, history and economy. Minimum one reading you have to do. How you do, I leave it to you, but minimum one reading is essential. Coming to, you know, uh, class notes, generally it is observed that when you get into the stage of, you know, test series, appearing in test series, appearing in grand test series, we tend to forget the importance of our class notes. I would suggest a minimum one or if possible two readings of your class notes is compulsory. Whatever subjects you have attended in classroom learning, please go back and revise. Questions will come from there, whether it is concepts or current affair domains, but questions will do appear from there. So please go back and revise your class notes. And one important suggestion I would like to give to my students is, at least now identify what is your weakness. If you identify history as your weakness, you have to work upon it. Say if you are strong in economy, there is no point repeatedly studying that subject only. So whatever is your weak subject, whether it is polity, whether it is economy, whether it is history or for that matter environment and ecology or science and technology, please identify that subject and work on that subject for the next 40 days. Next, solve as many test series as possible. When I am using the word solve, I do not want you to sit and appear in that test series examination now. Just open the solutions page, go directly to the solutions page and start reading the question and the solution then and there. Do not waste your time in solving any test paper. The intention of using the word is solve means appear or read as many test series as possible. Next comes, you have to, to see why, see what happens is time planning in the examination on the day of examination is very crucial factor for your completing the entire paper on time. Year after year, many students come to me and say that, sir, the time was not sufficient for me to read through all the questions. To get a feel of the examination, to understand how to plan your time and other small, small strategies on the day of the examination, I suggest you go and appear for at least two to three grand tests in offline mode to get a feel of the actual day examination. It's very, very essential. The students 
because see year after year upsc is asking many map based question questions are coming directly from the atlas so one visit at the orient black swan or oxford i leave it to you but complete reading of atlas once or twice is very very essential so please do have a look at the atlas also this to lot of my friends advice if you are weak in csat spare at least 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours every day even from today at least if you spare this 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours that fear would be taken care of so that you can you know you will be able to manage your time accordingly in the final examination please do practice one one uh, one of the points that would come in the uh, coming slide is a big no to youtube this is not the time to open youtube and read current affairs because the amount of time that you will waste in listening to your youtube can be fruitfully utilized for reading more number of pages and getting more information in load so that is the reason why i suggest a strict no to youtube the only exception is to learn about shortcuts in csat if you want to learn about some shortcuts in csat still you can go and watch youtube but not any other channel either whether it is a concept related channel or current affairs related channel a strict no in the last 40 days one important area where every year at least four to six questions do appear in the examination is the government schemes reports of the organizations and economic survey so minimum one reading of the economic survey and the reports of the organization two to three revisions of the government schemes that have been launched at least in the last one year so you need to cover what is recommended is 18 months because now the time is not sufficient minimum 12 months of government schemes reports of the organizations and your economic survey couple of more points this is the time to take the assistance or the help of a mentor to guide you how to appear one particular question which you are completely unaware of when you open the text booklet if you feel that some questions are completely out of your understanding range this is where a mentor can guide you how to approach in these kind of situations so please do take the guidance of mentor yes one important point this is the time from the first week of may stop reading newspaper it is not important because by now the paper would have been already set so there is no point reading the newspaper after the first week of may maybe third fourth or fifth of may you can stop reading newspaper uh, this i have already covered no youtube leave ncert is now no point revising them at this stage because ncert is may eat up lot of your time so at this stage if you have not done it you have to take a risk because you cannot spend more time with the ncert is now you have to leave ncert is and move ahead next if time permits do glance through the previous year upsc papers why i am asking you to glance through the previous year's papers is not that some questions will reappear no at least you will understand how the pattern of questions are being framed where is the area where from the questions are coming with that perspective this is very important a rapid revision program may help you especially in a weak areas if some institutes are conducting some rapid revision programs or some marathons on prelims if even if you do not want to attend the complete series of what you call areas at least the areas where you are weak try to definitely attend at least one or two programs of rapid revision right make three subjects as strong areas as i told you polity history and economy should be the ideally should be the subjects and if you are weak in either of these three subjects then you have to have two more strong areas it could be science and technology or economy and uh, environment that i leave it to you or current affairs has to be strong if either of these three areas are weak for you stop the last and the most important point is stop panicking i have seen lot of students put dropping messages to me sir i think my preparation is not up to the mark i am thinking of postponing my examination to next year this panicking has to stop why because even if you have been studying on and off for the last one and half two years 40 days is good enough for to cover the entire syllabus of prelims along with concepts and current affairs so even if your preparation has been on and off do not give up at this stage try to cover as much as you can and stop panicking this is the sincere advice i wish to give especially to the students who are repeaters especially to the students who are repeaters 
See, uh, Ekam IS Academy, uh, you know, has uh, is launching various programs to help the students who are appearing in prelims 2022. You can call us on these numbers to inquire about the various programs. One sincere advice before, you know, closing the session, I would like to give to my students is, see, prelims at any given point of time, no student can confirmatively say that I have covered all the domains of prelims perfectly and I am ready to face prelims. It has been proven in the past that even the UPSC toppers have cleared prelims because of the reservation support. It means that the people who were ready to top the examinations, they themselves were not ready to take the prelims without any reservation support. So it means that everybody is on a common platform. So don't compare your preparation with your neighbor. And do have faith in your hard work that you have done in the last two, two and a half years or one, one and a half years. Confidently go and write your examination. For any details related to guidance on UPSC, whether it is prelims or mains or any domain of UPSC preparation, please do call us for any assistance. Thank you. Thank you.